I'm Jennifer O'Neill, and I serve as the Corrigan Solari University Historian and Archivist. Well, I chose to become an archivist because it's the ideal profession that really blends my love of history, research, and helping people find what they need. And uh, it's always something new every day, something where you're able to help students, faculty, and also just being able to do a lot of outreach with a lot of different people. I really enjoy the work I do. My favorite part of working at the library is helping students with their research, uh, particularly as they've never worked with a lot of our materials before, so introducing them to the types of materials that we have, and then watching them grow as a researcher, whether they're doing a term project or a year project, and really seeing them get excited about the collections and then see them grow as a researcher. It's very, very great to see them uh, grow as a researcher. Well, within Special Collections and University Archives, we have a wide variety of different collections. And it starts with everything from our uh, Oregon Book Collection, which is a huge history of um, books about the state of Oregon or from Oregon authors. And we also have rare books and medieval manuscripts. Uh, but one of our largest portions of our collection are um, personal papers and organizational records of people that are um, from here in Oregon or across the United States. And they're from well-known individuals to authors and, of course, university archives as well, which documents the history of the university. And within those collections are going to be a variety of different types of items from um, records, letters, diaries, photographs as well as films and um, audio recordings. So we're very lucky to have a huge array of different types of collections. The collections are really used by anyone and everyone. The collections are open to anyone to use. It's everyone from students, faculty, staff, as well as of course just the general public. And we're also lucky to have a variety of different people coming from all across the United States and the world to see our collections. My favorite experience or interaction with the collection has been with the Edward Curtis volumes and photographers, which we have here out on, on the table today, our sampling. And the reason why this has been so interesting is because uh, the Curtis collection uh, over the past um, year has really seen um, a renewed interest in seeing these sets particularly based on a new um, biography that was done on Curtis by Timothy Egan. And that has really set a renewed interest for many people coming to see these sets. And because of that, um, and because of their value and the interest, we have set aside specific viewing days for the public to come see these because there are so many of them that we just can't bring them out um, for each individual request. So being able to do it um, in a group setting is really useful because then we can interact with them and have a discussion. And most people, of course, can um, recognize a Curtis print. They're very well known and they're artistic and beautiful and really captures the essence of the Native American uh, people and culture. However, what is not always known is the stories behind the images or why the images were taken, who these people are, what it was their culture. Now a lot of that is written in the larger books and volumes, but um, being able to have this interaction with the public really uh, reframes the narrative and helps us to engage with the public and begin to tell those stories and really reframe um, these volumes and sets because Curtis had um, begun this work because he thought Native Americans were a vanishing, vanishing race and culture and we know that now today to not be true at all and so it helps us to be able to talk about um, Native Americans today in a contemporary setting and really reframe the history and then talk about how Native Americans are today a very strong, vibrant culture and people. The library is important to me because I really see it as the um, center of knowledge and learning and interaction with students and faculty. It's really that unique place where it all comes together and you see students and faculty excited about the collections that we have and it also just has such a rich history here on campus that has really united and been the center of campus.